This video is brought to you by Cybersalt's Joomla training cohort. Learn to do Joomla the way Cybersalt does Joomla. And MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Get a free site audit at MySites.Guru. I migrated a client site from Joomla 3 to Joomla 4 and right when I thought everything was working, I discovered that there were no articles showing up in the article manager in the back end of the site. They were there in the front end, but not in the back end. So in this video, I'm going to show you what the fix was for that. Now, right at the beginning, I want to thank Brian Tiemann for helping me out with this because I was stumped. And so I sent him a backup of the site and he looked at it and did some pretty impressive troubleshooting and even made a video for me to follow along. So let me tell you, it was a treat to have a video made for me for a change. So the fix that I'm going to show you today is because he helped me, even gave me the uh, SQL code that we're going to be using. So let's take a look at the problem here and then we'll take a look at the solution that he found. All right, so if you're watching this video, maybe you already have this problem. If you go to content and articles, nothing, no articles here at all. And in fact, if you go to categories, we can see here in the categories there are definitely articles here and on the front page of the site there are articles but none in the article manager now when i migrated this site after the migration was complete or so i thought i got a message saying that there was a table that was missing in the database and it was actually a workflows table so what i did was i reinstalled joomla uploading the, the latest joomla version the full package to do that, you go to System, and then go to Joomla Update, and then you'll get a button here, Update Your Site Manually. So when I did that upload, the error message went away, so the table was created upon the, the reinstall of Joomla. Now, as I said, Brian had done some great troubleshooting in the site, and I just want to show you what he found and the solution in case you're facing the same thing. To do that, we're going to go to the hosting for this website and we're going to go to PHP My Admin, and we're going to look in the database that belongs to this Joomla install. In PHP Admin, My Admin, we will select the database from this side column here. And then what we want to do is filter for the tables that have the word work in them. Work for workflow. And what you'll see here, what Brian showed me, is that the workflows table should have a row in it, but it doesn't. This one doesn't. So what he did was he gave me the SQL command to use here in PHP MyAdmin in order to populate that row. And here's what it is. First of all, up here, we're going to go to the SQL tab and I'm going to paste that in there. I already have it ready to paste. And as we look, you will see this is what needs to be run. Now, we need to make one change here. As you'll see here, we have hashtag underscore underscore. We need to change this to the prefix of the database, which is, first of all, we'll go here, delete those first two characters, which is UG83B, UG83B. Of course, it will be different for your website, unless, of course, coincidentally, you have the same prefix. With that there, we can now over here, click go and apply that. It runs, it was inserted successfully and we can go back to the Joomla site, go to content and articles. And now all of the articles will show up. That was the fix for that. So a huge thank you to Brian Tiemann for helping out with that and the time he took to uh, show it. And I hope that if the articles are not showing in the article manager for your Joomla 4 site, that this is the solution that helps you. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your gym sites and God bless.